Designed to keep your feet protected and comfortable over rough mountain terrain, the Solomon Genesis features an active chassis and the reliable Conta Grip rubber to help you send it with confidence. But how does that active chassis feel and will you want to get your feet into a pair of the Solomon Genesis? Stay tuned and let's find out. Well, hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steven. I want to let you know that Solomon did send the Genesis here to me to review. They're not going to see this. They're not proofing it. They're not telling me what to say. I'm going to give you my completely honest thoughts just like always. Well, first let's talk about the stats of the Solomon Genesis. First off, it is a rugged mountain running shoe and with that there is a fair amount of flexibility. As for the sack height, the men's comes in at 34 millimeters in the rear and 26 millimeters in the front for an eight millimeter drop. And I should note that it is the same in a woman's shoe. And for the weight, my men's size 11 weighed in at 10.6 ounces or 302 grams, which really is a pretty good weight for a rugged mountain running shoe. And just for reference, the La Sportiva Akasha 2 here, another very rugged mountain running shoe, weighed in at almost two and a half ounces or 66 grams heavier than the Solomon Genesis. And the fit is characterized by Solomon as their standard width. And as for the length, fit true to size, size 11 for me was just fine. So I don't think you'll need to upsize at all. Hey, real quick, before we get any further, don't forget to scroll down, click that thumbs up button, give the video a like, that would be awesome. Maybe click subscribe as well. And if you're interested in the Solomon Genesis, look below in the description for a link to go purchase them. It does not cost you anything, but it will help support the channel. Moving on to the upper of the Solomon Genesis, the weaved matrix upper is scree and trail carnage resistant while offering maximum durability and breathability. Over the foot, it does feel very comfortable. Sometimes that's not the case with these matrix uppers. Sometimes they can feel a little bit abrasive. That's not the case with the Solomon Genesis. It's pliable and it is quite comfortable. As for that breathability, take a look at the tissue test and you can see on low, the shoe does breathe. It's, you know, the tissue does move a little bit. However, when I switched the hairdryer to high, that tissue almost came off the shoe. It went up so quickly. When running, I can attest these do feel very breathable. And on cold days, I have to be very aware of my sock choice specifically for that reason to keep my feet warm. They do breathe quite well. The toe box of the Solomon Genesis here is adequate for my average to narrow size foot. Keep in mind that this is Solomon standard width, like I said earlier. So if you have a wider forefoot, this may not work for you. And keep in mind as well that these are unfortunately not offered in a wide. And at the front of that toe box, there is a nice layer and a toe bumper here to kind of help protect your toes over those rocky, nasty trails. Moving on up to the medial arch of the shoe. Again, for me, there was no issue at all. However, if you do have a wider foot, like I mentioned earlier in the toe box, you might have some pinching or some hot spots. But for me, my foot shape, it fit just fine. The tongue of the Solomon Genesis is pretty thin, if I'm honest, but there is a thin layer of padding and it's been adequate so far. I've not had any issues of discomfort with this quick lace system as I cinch those down. It's not dug into the top of my feet. At the top of the tongue here, you can see there is also a lace garage to store the excess of that quick lace system. And it works really well. They've not come out during any of my runs. And finally, I should mention that the tongue is also gusseted on both sides. It's not gonna be migrating around over your foot. The heel collar is decently padded back here, but it feels like the padding is not the most dense and may collapse or die over time. So far, it has been fine. It's been comfortable. I've not had issues, but I do have some concern about the durability of that padding. And since this is a mountain running shoe, I would also probably like to see just a little bit more padding or protection on the uh, outside of your ankle and the inside as well. You know, if you're running over rocky terrain, sometimes those rocks can shift and move and might smack into the side of your foot it would be nice to have a little bit more protection. And as for that heel collar in the back, it is very flexible as you can see, but no concern, no issue with any rubbing of my Achilles. It's been comfortable there. Also in combination with that lacing system, it's been a very good secure fit and a good lockdown on my foot. So no issues there. Overall, the upper of the Solomon Genesis has been really pretty darn good. This matrix upper is very durable, yet it still breathes, it's comfortable. And that lacing system, it just really does provide a good secure lockdown for my foot. So overall, it's pretty darn good. The midsole of the Solomon Genesis is Solomon's Energy Foam midsole material. And really there's quite a lot of it because there's a pretty good stack height in this shoe. It also features Solomon's dynamic active chassis here as well, which helps provide a little bit of stability and support over rocky technical terrain. The active chassis is made of a lightweight TPU material and it's not excessive in stability, but really gives you just the right amount of support to help you have confidence as you're bombing down that descent. When running on normal trails or gravel roads, I really didn't feel the active chassis. It's not excessive. It's not going to cause any issues. But as soon as I got on some more technical trails descending, it really did help me have more confidence in my foot strikes. 
it just uh, it just felt good and it gave me confidence to descend quickly. I really can see myself using this shoe a lot more going forward as it's fun, it's confidence inspiring, and it just works. Now it's not the most comfortable midsole foam out there, we know that. However, it does provide plenty of cushioning and protection while still allowing you to feel that surface just a little bit. Now I would totally feel confident and comfortable taking these on a 50 mile ultra marathon, maybe even a 100 kilometer race, that's probably the upper limit for me though. Now as I have said in numerous Solomon shoe reviews, the Energy Foam midsole, it's not the most responsive midsole foam out there but that's not what the Genesis is intended for. It's not designed to be a responsive speedster of a shoe. It's a rugged mountain running shoe and it works really well in the Genesis. I will say though that it does feel more energetic and more responsive than the La Sportiva Jackal 2, the uh, BOA version here, which is kind of their more racier mountain running shoe. Overall, the Energy Foam and this active chassis work really well in the Solomon Genesis and give you confidence over a rocky and technical terrain and the comfort for long sections of gravel. The outsole of the Solomon Genesis is the all-terrain Contagrip compound, and it has a unique two-part lug pattern to give you great traction over a variety of surfaces. On the medial forefoot side here, there's a little bit of a different shape and design to the lugs, whereas the lateral side here has a little bit more of an aggressive design to really aid in lateral traction. Now, almost the entire outsole here of the shoe is the Contagrip compound. There's only a small section right here in the middle where you can actually see some of that exposed energy foam mid this is really going to help protect your feet over rocky terrain, whether it's gravel or just a rocky trail. It's going to help protect them from maybe poking up into the shoe just a little bit. The lugs are also not spaced too far apart, which is really good. So if you have a, a long section of gravel or maybe you have some pavement to run on as well, it's not going to be uncomfortable and hurt your feet. Now, the only time I had issues with the Solomon Genesis was on solid ice. But I mean, really, you cannot expect any shoe to do well on solid ice unless it has spikes. So no fault there. Overall, the Conta Grip outsole and the unique lug pattern offer plenty of grip over a variety of surfaces, and it should last you quite a while. As for the price of the Solomon Genesis, right now it retails for 150 US dollars, which I gotta say, I think is a pretty darn good deal for this shoe and what you get. After all, it is a mountain running shoe. The previously mentioned La Sportiva Akasha 2 retails for 175 US dollars. And the La Sportiva Jackal 2, the BOA version, that retails for $185. Both of those are rugged mountain running shoes, whereas that Jackal version is a little bit more of their racier, more agile. However, I gotta say, I honestly prefer the feel, the fit, the comfort of the Genesis better than both of those shoes, and it's quite a bit less. Well, the bottom line of the Solomon Genesis is I think this is a fantastic mountain running shoe. Like I said, I do think it is more comfortable than the La Sportiva Akasha 2. I think it's more agile and a little bit more responsive than the uh, Jackal 2 as well. And like I said, it costs less, so you really can't go wrong. It's a pretty darn good deal. What you get in the Solomon Genesis is a shoe that gives you confidence to run in, and you can run comfortably for hours and hours. So if you were looking for a rugged mountain running shoe or a shoe for technical terrain, then I highly recommend checking out the Solomon Genesis. Be sure to use that link below in the description. Like I said, it does not cost you anything, but it does help support the channel. And by the way, please do let us know below in the comments if you've tried the Genesis, your thoughts, if maybe I'm off base, you felt something different, let us know below. I'm sure everybody would really appreciate those comments. And since we did talk about the La Sportiva Jackal 2, the BOA version, a little bit in this uh, review here, take a look at that full review on your screen. It is another mountain running shoe. I'll see you over in that video there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.